Who is it? Phone service, ma'am. Phone service, ma'am. Hi. Howdy, ma'am. The phone, it's in my boudoir. It works fine, ma'am. Does it? You didn't call me here for the phone. I did. Where do you think you're going? Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Well, you call me here for a reason. Okay. I thought you were cute. You like that, huh? Please. Hold still. Please. Stop. This isn't funny. It's not funny to call in big more trouble and waste my time. Scaring me. Damn right, bitch. Stop! Did you come? No. Did you? No, I was faking it for you. Well, I was faking it for you. Jesus, I, th I thought... I thought you were coming. I'm sorry, I, I, I... I can't get into it with you, Caleb. You didn't even grab my titties. Well, it didn't occur to me. My titties didn't occur to you? Look at them, Caleb. They occur to every man I meet, but not you. I don't think this is working. Uh, I can be meaner. You're too nice. I need a little shake and bake in my life. I need to feel dirty, filthy. You're so SUV, double coupons, family fun. Well, I'll break stuff next time. Caleb, it's over. Tiffany. Goodbye. I waited 24 days to have sex with you. Well. I didn't want to seem like a slut. <laughs> Tiffany. Kayla, leave. I got a Jetta. My belt. Fucking bitch. I'm still not buying it. God, give me another chance. I am not a slot machine. Goodbye, Caleb. You're a decent boy. Nice ass.
Heterosexuals are a fucked up species. 24 days, and then one week of me not raping or mean enough and I get shat out. Woman's like a computer, man. You do every little thing right, and then wham. Sad face, fatal error, 3801. For us, sex on the first date is a given. You figure out the hardware mismatches and you move on. Oh, well, it's just so easy bake for you, huh? Well, most guys don't know when to stop moving on. You should get laid all the time. <laughs> it's like 104 days between dates for me because I don't look like you. Like me. I'm not gonna stroke your gorgeous, muscular ego. Well, so whatever happened with the Jason thing? Justin, guys around here are like day-old donuts. I mean, I eat them because they're there, but you don't want to invest anything in them. Well, at least you got the whole box right there. You don't have to starve. Caleb, I'm on Friendster. My life is so not having sex in the city right now. If only I were gay. Honey, come out or stay in. Do not hache me into a Mariah. I don't mean literally. Oh, of course, illiterally. You know what I mean. You know. It's easy for us to get chicks, too. Straight girls love gay boys. I could get any girl I wanted. Shut the fuck. Serial killer. Remember Marcy Brooks? Shut the fuck, milkshake Marcy. Right after I came out senior year, she offered to hoover me to see if she could cure me. You're a geekazoid, no offense. Point is, I'm a geek and I could have got Electrolux treatment from milkshake Marcy because I'm gay. I really want to be a fag. You and Ricky Martin both. Oh, Jennifer Seaver. Ginny the Beaver, fire crotch. Shoves her fist down my pants, full on grabs my corn dog. Swear to God, I was gonna puke. They feel safe with us because we're not a threat. Like how they get naked in front of puppies. We're just puppies with dicks. You know, chicks and their puppies. Let them eat them right out. I read that McKinsey report. My speciality. Oh, what I would have done with the beef. Impregnated her? Got a shit job? Ooh, sounds real hot. She's not even your type. So, you think more girls would go for me if they thought that I was gay? Stop thinking. You just look pretty and turn the letters. No, but I mean, look, let's get a Sofia Coppola thing straight here. Being gay is more than listening to good music and eating low-fat foods. There are certain things you have to do to convince the general public. Yeah. We can stage bashing. No, what you need to do is find the loudest queen on campus and smoke his pole. Now that would be a wrist stamp to pussy smorgasbord. I'm hungry. I'm not your bitch. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, you pricked it, Gwen, you pricked it. I can't believe it. Oh, I love you, Gwen. And I love you, Joey. Which one do you want? Oh, honey, that one. It's so big. <laughs> I love you, bunny cakes. And I love you, ginger butt. <laughs> Doesn't that big girl work for him? Your girlfriend? Oops. I mean, ex-girlfriend. Who's that? It's my brother. He just got dumped. Hard. I hate your brother. He's Who told you, little bitch? I know. He totally is. Uh, excuse me. Why don't you? Okay. Why don't I just turn into gaseous form for a minute? Jamie. Ooh, Hello? It smells like you're already halfway there. Dogs have a heightened sense of smell. Well, with an ass that big, it's like floodlights to us. These are headlights, and I don't plan on breaking. Well, keep pedaling, because you're almost too busy intersection. The intersection's only busy because you are giving half price blowjobs. All right, what are the rules of this game? I don't know. You just lost. Loser. Freak. I'm on the phone. You won't leave me alone. Go graze outside. Stop mooching. Go back to college and eat your instant ramen. Mom! Caleb's drinking out of the milk carton! I am not! It's the acidophilus! Caleb, honey, you okay? We heard you got dumped. You're way hot. You look so sexy.
You mean homeless people that have accidents, huh? I don't like to kiss. You're kidding. Seriously. You can play with my nipples if you want. You know, kissing is so 1990s. I think I might be... I think I might be gay. Gay? Well, just a little bit. I turned another one? It could be just a phase. Oh, please. Can you list any tracks on Madonna's Like a Prayer album? Um, Express Yourself, Cherish, Oh Father... Vogue? No, honey, Vogue was on Dick Tracy. It's not a fucking phase. You're a full-fledged homo. Jesus, what did I do? Well, didn't you ever suspect? I mean, I am a little. I know what you mean. We're all just people. Just bodies with organic needs. We need satisfaction. We shouldn't deny our bodies. Let's not deny our bodies. <laughs> it's not gonna work this time. I'm pretty gay. I was good enough for you last night, you fucking faggot. Well, you're not being very positive about this. I couldn't be any more positive if I was gang raped in a repository bin at the needle exchange. <laughs> All I do is help gays come out. So who are you fucking? Well, I haven't had sex yet. Ha! I mean, except with you. And some other girl. Get out! Can we be, like, best friends or something? I already have a gay best friend. Yeah. Mark. Is he single? GET OUT! It's like I'm on a conveyor belt with a little piece of sushi. You know what he wants. You looking for Mr. Right now? Please, I'll settle for Mr. Five minutes ago. Sorry. No crap? One. Joey! Just remember, every time you suck a dick, every time you poke some boy in the brown eye, just remember that you've eaten pussy. You ate pussy and you liked it! I... You came! Hey, Gwen. Who's your friend? Oh, Jesus. Fare thee well, my fairy fair. Who was that? I don't know, he's a newborn. No, the girl. Gwen. She's hot. She's cute, but a total Meredith Brooks hit single. Excuse me. That her boyfriend? Oh, no, her roommate, Mark. Love of my life. He's gay, and I'm invisible. So all the friends gay or what? She's kind of a fag hag. Oh, I hate that term. Because you know, shut up, I am not. He will live with me. So she's straight though, right? Yeah, but she's totally in love with Mark. They dated when he was in the closet, and she's been trying to replace him ever since. Doing a real good job though, keeps dating fags. I feel like a turnstile to the white party. Why do you keep doing this? I don't know. They're time bombs, Gwen. It, it, it doesn't seem worth it. I met you. Let's not go there. The best thing that ever happened to me. I want to go home, Mark. Take me home. I just got here. Let's just hang for a bit. I'll do a little damage control. I bet I looked pretty stupid out there. Not at all. Liar. <laughs> you did look sort of good. I did. <laughs> you ate pussy. You liked it. Fuck you.
<sighs> Almost made a British guy in a broom closet. But he wouldn't kiss. Maybe your breath was penisy. Can I make you a drink? D did you want me to make you a drink? I'm gorgeous, not helpless. It's not a sexist thing. I, I just thought you might be, you know, stressed out. Just get the fuck out of my way. S sorry. Thanks, hon. You want to look on for yourself? Fuck you. She just brushed me off with the flamethrower. She's just like that at first. You like him, Butch. Would you stop being a total zit and leave me alone? It's taking so long. Oh, hi, Gwen. You know this guy? Yeah. Caleb? This is Quinn. Sorry, Caleb. It's been a night. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, Caleb's gay. You're gay? Uh, uh... He's, he's kind of new. Oh, honey, that's so sweet. Right, you two together? Oh, no. Well, not anymore. We're just roommates. Good. We were never together. Sorry. Sometimes I can be a cunt and a half. I thought you were a drunk breeder boy going for the chicken despair. Your shoes had me fooled. Like I said, he's new. Wow. Hi, Mark. Kevin. Kyle. Mark, this is Caleb. Hi. It's family. Nice to meet you, Caleb. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm totally drunk. No, you're not. You're designated driver. No, I think you're wrong, Gwen. Uh, I was just meeting Gwen and. Are you new here? Oh, he's my roommate. He dated. We, we didn't date. Let's away, our work is done here. Uh, where are you going? What? Let's give them some room to breathe on each other. I want to talk to them. Not a chance with that around, huh? So? <laughs> you stole my boyfriend. He's not your boyfriend. Oh, so now you're gay? This was your idea. You knew how I felt about him. We're not doing anything. You're going on a date. That was his idea. I've been stalking him for years. You decided to be gay for one night. I'm not gay. Why don't you just tell him you like him? That would be as futile as drug testing at the gay games. So you think you're gonna get Gwen like this? I don't know. I don't want to go. But he lives with her. I'll get to see her again. I can just tell her the truth and get this whole thing sorted out. Of course, there goes any chance I had with her. And you live with me. So Mark will have to come here. This could be parfait. Go on a few dates with Mark, the four of us hang. You come to the sad realization that you're straight. You go running to Gwen, Mark comes running to me. Genius. I'll be your um, goatee. How do you know they'll do that? That sounds etch -a sketchy to me. No, no, it's parfait. You don't understand human nature the way that I do. I'm a musician. And who got you that date with Tiffany? You hit her with my car on purpose? No, that was just dumb luck. I knew how to take advantage of the situation. Plus, Tiffany lives right next door to them and seeing you date her neighbor would kill her. <sighs> okay, one date and we'll see how it goes from there. But no sex stuff. Yeah, try to control yourself. <laughs> Fuck me, or fuck you. You'll actually wear it for what, 20 minutes? Not with this guy. Because he's Mr. Wonderful, Mr. Yin up my yang. I talked to him for 15 minutes, 
and I feel like I've known him my whole life. I'll be happy if he likes to kiss. He's probably a freak. When he's around, my heart beats like a trailer park husband. That is so gay. And I mean all three definitions. So what are you doing, eating out? Richard's having a BBQ for staff in the music department. And then? I don't know. But try not to be here. So then you're eating out. What if he tries to grab me? We're not pirates. We just dress like them. And, and chase booty. He'll be just as nervous as you, so try not to punch him if he makes a move on you or anything. Mm, I don't think I'd punch him. I think I'd probably just start crying or something. Oh, you got faggotude. Well, how do I know if he wants to do it? Is there, like, a code word or something? You mean like homo lingo? You talk normally in English. Ugh, I'm a failed role model. Do I look gay? Hmm. Like an insatiable bottom. Why did you say that? Just to fuck with you. It's for you, Blomeo. Hello? It's me. Hi, Tiffany. I was just running out the door, but... Hi, Tiffany. So, I ran into Max today. How is Max? Well, he's fine, and you're gay. That's just, it's... It explains an awful lot. I thought maybe I wasn't attractive enough, but now I see where I stand. Why are you calling? I thought maybe, you know, I could win you back to our team. Sorry, Tiffany. I'm gay now. How could you do this to me? Well... Actually, I think you did it to me. What? I think you turned me gay. I did not turn you gay! How could you say that? Well, I mean, don't take it personally. I am a person! How else am I supposed to take it? Bastard! Ah! Same building. Uh, I'll be like five minutes, okay? Please, Siegfried and Roy couldn't tame your hair. Uh, it's okay. Gwen can keep you company. I'm used to entertaining your tricks. Okay, mute. <laughs> She's kidding. I haven't had a trick in like so long. <laughs> I mean, tricks are for kids. <laughs> I've had dates. It's just. Go powder your nose, babe. The powder that goes on your nose. Anderson show. Hi. Mind if I couch with you? Sure. So, what's your major at? Uh, poli sci. Ooh, brainy smurf. I'm not very good at it, though. Honest. I like you. Thanks. Did you bring condoms? <laughs> uh, for. <laughs> I'm kidding. Relax. You look so tense. What's that? It's nice. When you guys come home tonight, try not to make too much noise. I have to tutor in the morning. I don't think you need to worry about that. <laughs> Kidding again. I don't tutor. Make all the noise you want. This girl upstairs has all these guys over and makes them pretend to rape her. She screams and throws things. It really freaked me out. I called the cops the first couple of times. Oh. <laughs> well, it's probably not different guys. It's probably the same guy, you know, just different roles. Oh, no, it's different guys. Sometimes there's like three or four of them, and they do this whole gangbang routine. She's all, no, you're doing me all at once. Sick, huh? But, you know, 
Teacher, um, my parents think I'm nuts for chasing gay boys. Maybe they'd lighten up if I told them I was into orgiastic splendor. You know, two guys, one orifice. They call it double dicking. It's, it's pretty weird. So, Caleb. Before you started to go girl, did you ever go girl? Oh, no, I mean, just the thought of it is... Oh, defensive. Like, not even before you came out? No. Okay, so sue me, but I have to say it. If you've never tricked with a chick, are you sure you pick dick? Well, I've never done it with a dude. And I, you know, gay. God. You're a virgin? A virgin homosexual? Let me touch you. <laughs> what about Kyle? Oh, no, we never. <sighs> Thank God. You just don't look right together. A virgin. <laughs> You're so cute. How'd you make it past 18? Would have thought some muscle daddy would have plucked you from the chicken coop a long time ago. Well, Mark's very gentle. He plucked my cherry. Got nothing to worry about. Okay. Caleb, honey, if you've never had a boy or a girl, maybe you should try the normal thing first. I mean, why stray down a path of oppression and isolation when happiness might be right here? You ever been curious about kissing a girl? A little, maybe? Gwen. Yes. We need to talk. Want to talk to Am I interrupting? Okay, I tried everything. Total fag. He's all yours. <laughs> she tries that on everyone. N not that there's a lot of guys. It, um, you ready? <laughs> sure, whatever. Play with the safety on, boys. Always do, mother. Would you boys do me a favor? It would so turn me on. What's that? Kiss. I think two guys kissing is so hot. Not in front of you. Please. We haven't even done it in private yet. I mean, we don't even know if we're going there. Think of it as an icebreaker. Caleb? Please? For me? Um, only if it's okay with Mark. Oh, no, it's okay. Well, great. 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 Please, how's a girl supposed to get off on that? Kiss my grandma like that in her coffin. Well, if he doesn't want... Wow. That's a way to start a date. How was that? It was great. It was a start. Goodbye, Gwen. Uh, bye, Gwen. Bye! Sexual. Sorry about all that. That's just Gwen. <laughs> oh, I, I totally dig her. She's great. Oh, yeah, I totally love her. 
<laughs> if only I was straight, you know. It seems like every time I find the perfect guy, it's a girl. Straight boys must have it so easy. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Come on, perfect girls are everywhere. It's cruel. I'm oh, sorry. Am I making you nervous? Not at all. I'm making you nervous. No, it's okay. So, uh, I gotta warn you. They're all music types at this party. Classical musicians. A little offbeat. That means crazy. Yeah. Do you like classical? Hello, sweetheart! Ooh. Who is this? Caleb, this is Richard <laughs> and his wife, Mika. And so the program spelled Beethoven, B-E-A-T. <laughs> <laughs> so, Caleb, what do you do? Uh, oh, he goes to the U. Wonderful. So how long have the two of you been in Ida? Ronnie. Please. We kind of just met. Oh, that's so sweet. The two of you look so cute together. Like a couple of Judds or Culkins. Caleb, have you heard Mark play? No. Well, you must. He's the most talented pianist the school's had in years. It's divine. Mark, you have to play something before you leave. Well, I thought we were going to do eight hands, two pianos later. Yes, Richard, set that up. Caleb, why don't you turn the pages for Mark and Winston? Just turn the page as fast as you can when I nod. You'll do fine. Ready? And... That was so cool, man. You guys were awesome. You really had a good time? It was great. That <laughs> Ronnie's a character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have some weird friends. They're fun, though. And you're, you're great on the piano. Well, I'm also a flautist. <laughs> Just eat less beans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you seen this one? I don't think so. Oh, it's really good. Next appointment. <laughs> yeah? What are you guys doing? It's just Kyle. He asked about me? No. Well, has he mentioned me? No, what do you want? What are you guys doing? Renting videos. What? I can't believe you're going along with Sick. I'm in a video store, so I can't really talk right now. Pronto! 
pay. I'm at Debbie Milford's. Am I gonna have to hang overnight here? <sighs> Renting a video is code for having sex. You're paranoid. Renting a video? So I am staying the night. Gwen, he's so cute. What else is gonna happen? Two gay men sitting on a couch, boring movie, raging, hard on, it's the code. You rent a video, you get laid. <laughs> Dude, you said there was no such thing as gay speak. Well, I was wrong. Do not go home with him. Gwen's gonna be there. Only if she's a bad fag hag. Gwen, honey, your turn. Just a second. Take your time, sweetie. We have all night long. Caleb, this is so not cool. Nothing's gonna happen. Plus, I can tell Gwen's into me. It's working. Of course she's into you. You're gay. Shut the fuck up. God, Gwen, he is so... Mm. Well, sweetie, if you don't score, will you please, please, please call me so I can come home? Okay. Swear on your Simon Rex jack-off video? No fair. Look, don't you get bi-curious now. If she's not home, then I'm out of there. Keep your hands off my man. I'm hanging up. Okay, he's getting off. So, have you seen any of these? Gwen? Gwen? Hmm. I thought she'd be back by now. Well, at least we have the place to ourselves. Go ahead, make yourself at home. And when I say that, I mean take off all your clothes and roll around on the floor. <laughs> Gwen! Oh, trust me, if she were here, she'd be all up in our pubes. So, video? Huh? You know, that thing we rented. Oh, yeah. Well, we could watch it. Yeah. Or... Or... Or we could not watch it. Oh. It's up to you. I'm cool either way. And that was really good. Yeah. So, uh, Gwen's still not back yet, huh? She usually is by now. It's getting late. Yeah, I'm getting tired too. Yeah, I should, should probably. Yeah. Hello? You answered, you fuck. Gwen! What's going on? Because if you were fucking, you wouldn't be answering. And if you're not fucking, then you should be calling me, telling me I could fucking come home. Yeah, Caleb's here. We just watched a video. You actually watched it? Look, Debbie had one of her breathing fits, so they put me in her dead grandma's room. It's really creepy in here. Uh, we thought you'd be back by now. Ha fucking ha. I'm dying la muerta loca here. Yeah, maybe he can stay and we can all three hang out some. So you're that desperate. Hasn't anyone made a move yet? Yeah, the movie was great. God, Mark, let me talk to him. What? Put him on, let me get the balls rolling. Um, she wants to talk to you. Really? Yeah. Here he is. <laughs> Mark, don't fucking waste this. Hello? Hi, Caleb. How was the date? 
Um... Oh, I guess you can't answer because he's right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's play a game. Do you want to play with me? Okay, sure. I'll try to figure it all out while you just say yes or no, okay? Yes. Good start. Hmm. Have you done anything? No. Are you nervous? <laughs> yes, definitely. But are you excited? I guess. Very excited? I don't know. Hmm. Could you get very excited? Yeah. Is this exciting you? Yes. I can make you less nervous. Close your eyes. Huh? Come on, just play along. Close your eyes. Okay. Closed? Yeah. Tight? Yes. Now lean back. Very slowly. Okay. Do you like my voice? Yes. It's comforting, isn't it? Yes. I like yours, too. It's sexy. Is mine sexy? Yes. Do you feel sexy? Yeah. No. Just feel your heart pumping the blood through your body. I can feel mine. Can you feel it? Yes. Feel it traveling from your heart through your chest, up and down your arm, legs, in your fingers and toes. Can you feel it? Yes. Is it going faster? Yes. Is it getting warmer? Yes. What kind of shirt are you wearing? Um... I mean, is it a pullover? No. Does it button up? Yes. Do you want to unbutton it? Yes. Open the top button. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. Is it open? Yeah. Are your eyes still closed? Yeah. I want you to breathe with me. Try and match my breathing, okay? Okay. Hey, 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 man. man. Oh, sorry. You scared me, man. Caleb, what's going on? Uh, nothing. Did Mark touch you? Yeah. Did he hurt you? No. Did it feel good? I don't know. This is embarrassing, man. Yes or no? Did it feel good? I, I don't know. Lie down, Caleb. What are you doing? Do you want me to hang up? No, no. Are you lying down? <sighs> yes. Eyes closed? Yes. It's okay, you're a virgin. I'm not going to let anything happen that you don't want. Okay. You want to stop, you just say so, okay? Okay. Do you want me to hang up? No. Okay. Breathe slowly. Deeply. Just like before.
your shirt still open? Yes. Ask Mark to massage your neck. Go on. Mark? Uh-huh. Will you massage my neck? Please. Please? Don't open your eyes now. I want your entire world to be only my voice. Okay. My voice and his hands. Is he doing it? Yeah. Does it feel good? Yeah. You used to do that to me. It feels really good. <sighs> yeah. Keep breathing with me. <sighs> do you like hearing my breathing? Yes. It's kinky, isn't it? Yes. Are you turned on? Yeah. I'm so turned on. Do you mind? No. Do you want me to stay on the phone? Yeah. Are you hard? Yes. Oh. What's he doing? Ah, kissing my neck. Does it feel good? Yes. Is his mouth warm? Oh, yeah. Unbutton your shirt. Uh, unbutton my shirt. Please. Please. Is he doing it? Does it feel good? Yeah. Oh. Caleb. Yeah. Yeah. What's he doing to you? Ah, oh. <laughs> licking my stomach. Does it turn you on? Yes. Tell him to unbutton your pants. But you're having fun, aren't you? Yeah. Do you want to lose your virginity with me? Uh. Yeah. You're raging hard, aren't you? Yes. A nice wet mouth. It feels so good right now, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Tell him to unbutton your pants. Unbutton my pants. Please. Please. Hey, Caleb. I really want to make you feel good. Do you want to feel good? Yeah. Say it. I want to feel good. Beg for it. Make me feel good. Please. <sighs> oh. Oh, what's he doing? His mouth. Is he sucking you off? Ah, uh, yeah. You like that? Yeah. Does it feel good? Yeah. Do you want him to stop? Uh, no. Do you want to come? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Do you want me to come? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna come. Yeah. I'm gonna come. Oh. Uh. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 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 Let me get you a towel. So how was your first time? Fuck. I don't even know. Did it weird you out to have a girl on the phone? 
No, not at all. You're kinky. I like you. <laughs> I like you too. You're dirty. I'm filthy. Where's Mark? Uh, getting a towel. Did he come? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's safe for me to come home now anyhow. I'll be there soon. Uh, uh okay. Goodbye. Here. Thanks. Mind if I get off? Huh? I can take care of myself. Just sit there. So, Gwen said she's on her way. I like your TV setup. It's really high-tech and stuff. Good. You want this? You uh, got it pretty wet. I don't normally. What? Make that much? <laughs> uh, I should go. Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. I'll call you. Yeah, call me. Wish I had your cell, I would have called instead of stopping. No, I'm, I'm glad you stopped. You want my cell? Absolutely. Let me get one. Let's fast forward through the small talk. I want to know how it went. Went? You just made it with your first guy. Aren't you happy? I'm confused. Didn't it feel good? Oh, shit. I was too pushy. Honey, Mark's a good guy. The best. You're in good hands. 
It's just too much. To... Too soon? No, it's not that. It's just that... We're just people. Just bodies with organic needs. We need satisfaction. We shouldn't deny our bodies. Are you turned on? No, that's just like... You're still turned on. You've had a boner since you left Mark. No. Don't be embarrassed. That's what happens the first time you do it. You just want to do it again. Do you mind me doing this? No. How about this? Well, well, I mean, I mean, don't don't you think we should, you know, warn public? I think it's sexy that you're worried about Mark, but it seems to me that he didn't do his job. <sighs> Calm down. No, it's just that. Suck that. Don't give me any of that strictly gay shit. Who needs friends that won't fuck friends? Yeah, little gay boy. Yeah. Woo! Oh. That's your brilliant. You are such a fag. Why are you back so late? Can we talk about this in the morning? Killed fucking A, what happened? Did you do it with Gwen? Sort of. Well, did you talk about me? Caleb! Good morning. Uh, wait for the beat. Tell me something I don't know. This is for Caleb. You're probably sleeping. I, I just wanted to say I had a great time last night. Really. So, I just wanted to call, because lots of guys have a thing about calling where you don't call and kind of just wait and see who calls first. And, well, I didn't want to. Oh, jeez, I, I sound really stupid. Anyway, call me. <laughs> okay, bye. What the fuck? Kyle, I'm sorry. It. Fuck you. Kyle, it's not what you think. Uh, wait for the beat. Tell me something. Hello? Oh, shit. It's Mark. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? No, I, I just got your message. God, I feel like a stalker. I just realized I didn't leave my number and thought I'd call and leave it on your machine. I didn't think you'd answer. No, that's fine. Well, it's nice to talk to you anyhow. I'm sorry, were you busy? No, just... recovering. You must be one fuck of a fuck. That was him. Mark's the asshole type. He normally fucks and moves on, but I guess with you, I mean, who wouldn't want to keep you around? How could you fucking do this to me? It's not fair. It's not like You're, you two. You don't even know, do you? You're so stupid. I invited them over for dinner. Here? Great. You just want to make out in front of me? Want to screw in my bed? I invited Gwen too. We're all going to sit down and tell the truth. And just... Just... Just what? Huh? 
Things are so simple in your simple little world, aren't they? Well, it doesn't work that way, Caleb. Things are more complicated than just sitting around telling people how you really feel. I'm just trying to fix things here, okay? Well, you're doing a Fabio job so far. Consumption. I shouldn't have done that last night. It's hot. It was fucked up. You should have seen him. He flew out here like a seminal meatloaf album. He seemed to like it on the phone. That's what's so fucked up about it. Are you jealous? No. You're jealous. I am not. This is so great. It's finally the other way around. Do you know how many boys have fucked me just to get to you? Shut up. You're scared I could convert him. Maybe I just will. I need to practice. I'll take that as a challenge. I can't hear you, babe. I know something. making sausages big fat sausages dude people don't eat sausages you're supposed to make like spaghetti or some shit fine you want to cook no i mean i've never seen you make sausages before well i'm trying something new you're too much well i invited some friends over too go get the door this isn't a cater bro this is like serious who did you invite like they said to anne frank why don't you answer the door and find out Oh, Jesus, it's just you guys. I brought this for you. Cool, it's yellow. And some wine. Oh, awesome, all we got is beer. Cool. This is the part where you invite us in. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Come in, <laughs> Kyle's in the kitchen. Honey, this is how you do it. Ha ha. Funny, I get it. So, Caleb, Mark thinks... Hey, Quinn. Mark, did you offer them beverages? Oh, you want some? I'll pour some drinks. Will you show me where the glasses are? Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Oh. I think, um, I think you're a really nice guy. That's all. Thanks. I gotta go to the head. We need to talk. D dude! What are you being honest? Now, I gotta talk about I'm it now. I'm taking or... a leak. Please, I've seen it. How you doing? My God, what are those? Dinner. Is this some kind of ethnic thing? Mark, I think you're really cool. But, but, is there something with you and Kyle? No, it's definitely not that. Nice to meet you. Oh, shit. Don't say anything, okay? What's wrong?
Hi, Mom, Dad, Jamie. Oh, this is Mark. Mark, my family. I was just showing Mark the, the Flusher thing. It's broken. Yeah, yeah, the Bobby thingy. It has to stay on top. <laughs> it's called the ball cock. Well, nice to meet you, Mark. Are you gay? It's rude. Oh, please. I don't mind. Kyle, I, I think you need my help in the kitchen. We'll be right back. I'm gonna circumcise your fucking neck. All right, look, I know this looks fucked up. You're gonna look fucked up. But we can't do it your way, we can't just tell them. They won't give either one of us the time of day. I have just that much at stake here, okay? Kyle, those are my fucking parents. This is my life, you know, my real life. Calm down, just calm down, all right? <clears throat> uh, Gwen, Mark, could you guys come in here for a sec? Well, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's the Kim deal? Okay, Caleb's not out to his parents yet. No shit. Of course they don't know. Should we leave? No, I think that would look too weird. It already looks pretty fucking weird. No, no, no. I got it worked out. Gwen, pretend to be with Caleb, and Mark can be my date. What? D just until dinner. You know, until after they leave, and then everything is back to normal. Everything cool in there, dudes? Very cool, Mrs. Peterson. Now you? Sit next to Caleb and Mark with moi. Oh, I get it. Well, if you need anything, let's go meet Mr. and Mrs. Roper. Peterson. So those were very interesting sausages, Kyle. What flavor exactly is white jello? Oh, it's just the way that's You know good. what it looks like? It looks like... So when did you meet this lovely young lady? Uh, at a party last week. Right after the Tiffany ordeal? Who's Tiffany? You never mentioned Tiffany. Tiffany was a bitch. I liked her. She was cute. So how did you meet each other? Was it across a crowded room? Uh, she was screaming and I saw her. Screaming? I was so surprised he wasn't gay. Oh, you, you must get that a lot, hon. <laughs> I mean, living with Kyle and your haircut. So Mark, when did you meet Kyle? I, I hope we're not being too personal. Kyle's like a second son to us. Or a daughter. It's a small world, young lady. I know. Celebrate our diversity. We met at the same party. It's this music. It's really good. I don't know, it's Kyle's shit. Oh. Who is this, Kyle? Oh, it's mine. My old stuff, but my new stuff's better. Kyle's a composer. Didn't he mention it? No, he hasn't mentioned much. Isn't his work beautiful? Yeah, it's, it's nice. You in the music school? Yeah. I never noticed you around. Well, you're classical, I'm jazz. <laughs> you know how they are. Yeah. Well, this is really good. It's always nice to know what's going on in your lives, boys. But isn't it a little early to be meeting the parents? I mean, you hardly seem to know each other. I, I just thought this would be nice, you know, all of us together. One big family. Better than Springer. Is there something you want to tell us? We're here for you, son. Just wanted to have dinner, no interior motive. Ulterior. I knew that. Shit, now who? I didn't invite anyone else, honest. I hear you have phone trouble, Miss Thing. That's Mr. Miss Thing to you. Tiffany? You little hose hopper! Why don't you come join us? Go Miss Morticia and Little Wednesday. I'm sure this would be awkward for Gwen. I don't mind, I want to see this. You know, you guys seem really nice. 
Oh my god, Gwen, don't. Caleb, honey, I'm gonna do you a really big favor. Oh, shit. You'll hate me now, but you'll love me later. Gwen, please. Shit. Mr. and Mrs. Peterson, your son is gay. Bag, you're it. I turned him gay, but I can turn him back. No, bag, bag. Please, with that word. Mark and Caleb are boyfriends, and I'm just Mark's roommate. You're a reality show without a camera crew. <laughs> We're not boyfriends yet. We've only been on one date. I told you. Son, how did we manifest our homophobia? It must have been horrible living with us. Straight this, straight that. I'm sorry you needed all of this to face us. I'll call Tammy at PFLOG first thing. We'll go to meetings. Jamie, hon, is uh, there something you wanted to tell us? I don't think I'm a lesbo. I experimented once. <laughs> Son, give me a hug. Caleb, hug your father. You're still my son, and I love you. This is so beautiful. Barf, you should see them on anniversaries. I love you, Caleb. I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. Come on, family hug. Love you, gay bro. Come on. I said family hug. We're all family here. Well, come on. Oh, what the fuck? But I'm mad. I'm so proud of you, son. Take good care of my boy. Yes, sir, Mr. Peterson. I bet he will. Well, I bet he will, too. No offense, Kyle. Next time we're eating out. Come on, hon. Let's go. Back to Stepford. Do you think I'm stupid? No. Not you, hon. Kyle, I know what's going on. You're acting like a baby. I didn't think that you Well, it's stupid. time to make a change in your lifestyle. Okay, babe. This is one of the reasons I get called a bitch. Because I tell it like it is. Kyle? Reality. Reality? Kyle. You are not in Mark's league. I mean, you're not a total canine, but you are a... K-5. Gwen, come off it. Mark's not a K at all. Your chances of ever scoring with someone like Mark? Zero. Nothing. El Nacho. Gwen, stop. Live with it. Move on. He pulled a dirty fucking trick. That was harsh. Well, would you? Would you, Mark Everhart, ever go out with Kyle... What's-his-nuts? Maybe. She's right. You wouldn't ever. I would, too. You don't know me. He is not a nice person. He was trying to split you guys up. I blame him and those who harbor him. You can't possibly be that stupid. You don't belong to a frat. I'm not stupid. Look, go talk to him. Kyle is a really nice person. He's amazing. Why aren't you with him? I would be in a second, but... But what? I'm listening. It's complicated. Christ, now you're talking like a straight guy. Um... Oh, shit.
You fucking heterosexual liar! Gwen, I'm sorry, it's- You pretended to be gay? I had sex with my best friend? Came out to your parents just so you could fuck me? I guess. I can't believe I let you fuck me. You fucked her? You fucked him? <laughs> That's the sweetest thing that anyone's ever done for me. <laughs> I'm really sorry, dude. Hey, someday I'll look back on all this and think it was really hot. <laughs> me too. Talk to him. Hey, you hurt him, I will seriously fuck with your shit. Back at you with her. Oh, please, I'll fuck all y'all shit. Go away. Caleb, it's me. Oh. Sure. So I guess Caleb told you... Yeah. I guess he and Gwen are... Yeah. Okay, listen, I don't... I don't think I can handle it. Molly Ringwald, Anthony Michael Hall, Let's Be Friends speech. Good. Cause I don't know him. I knew your name was Kyle. At the party. I called you Kevin, but I knew you were Kyle. And I knew you were in the music school. Why do you do that shit? I don't know. I guess it's kind of fucked up. Damn straight. Why stop at one? I do know why I do it. It's, it sounds stupid. Why? To make you want me. That is stupid. It's true. Isn't it painfully obvious? What, by the way, you always look away whenever I walk into a room and, and whisper something to your friends the second you think I'm not paying attention? Well, by the way, you always come up and talk to Gwen and not me. Come on. You're too good for me. Like they said, you know how the system works. The system sucks. I've always loved your music. went to your recital. They told me someone came. Please tell me you like to kiss. I love it. Okay, so I know I might just be a rebound, or a really shitty consolation prize, or you're just really looking for an ego boost, but whatever it is, I'll take it. You're so Turn you on as much as it does me. Huh? I thought so.
Cause your lips on my skin So real I could swear it was your voice You whispered softly to me So perfectly So very clear I know you didn't know it I think everybody's gone now.